بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Gather around my students for today's lesson Today I'd like to discuss three things I disagree with my teacher First, my teacher says that shaitan would be punished in the fire of hell However, since shaitan is made of fire How can he feel any pain in the fire of hell? How could fire ever hurt fire? Second he says that we can't see God. How is this possible? Something that is present must also be seen. Finally, he says that we are all responsible for our actions. But since God is in control of man's destiny, why should man be punished for his actions? Is there anyone who can answer my three questions? Ah! Get him! Okay, okay. I surrender. Now what? Take him to the Khalif. I seek justice. Later at the palace. Bahlul. What has he done this time? Oh noble and just Khalif, I have been wronged. This man threw a clod of mud at me. Why in Allah's name did you hurt this man, oh Bahlul? Hey! I was only answering his questions. Balul, how can you answer someone's questions by hurting them? Huh? Hurt? Pain? I don't see any hurt or pain. Can you please show me your pain there, sir? I did not know pain could be seen. What? Are you insane? Pain is only felt. It can't be seen, you fool. Exactly. The same way that God exists, even though he can't be seen. Furthermore, since a cloud of mud can inflict pain on you, even though you too were created from mud, then why can't shaitan, who is made of fire, be punished by the fire of hell? And finally, why are you troubling the Khalif by bringing my case to him? You might as well bring God to trial since he is responsible for my actions. Now, if you would excuse me, I need to go look for my horse. This is probably the most famous story of Bahlul. His intellect, presence of mind and razor-sharp wit are all amazingly portrayed in the classic story. The questions in this story are very interesting. After all, how can the fire of hell hurt the fire of Satan? Secondly, if God exists, why can't we see him? Finally, can we do whatever we want or have our lives already been decided for us? These are the sort of questions people ask themselves many, many years ago. Philosophers still struggle to clearly explain these complicated ideas in a way that is easy to understand. But Bahlul, with one swift move, smashes the three arguments and answers the questions raised.